Are you there? Well, we're here. And we've got Edna and they all over there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, where's better? Swan soap. Yes, sir. Lever Brothers Company, the makers of Swan, the new white floating soap that eight ways better than old style floating soap, presents Paul Whiteman. <laughs> announcer, Bill Goodwin. Our singer, Jimmy Cash. Well, I swan, the stars of our show, George Burns and Tracy Allen. <laughs> the new Burns and Allen show, and now we take you to their home the night before Christmas. The tree has been decorated, and George has gone to bed. Only Gracie and Herman, their little duck, are still downstairs in front of the fireplace. Now, Herman, it's 11 o'clock and it's time all good little ducks were fast asleep. (laughs) Herman Burns, you go right to sleep. (laughs) Well, all right. I'll tell you a bedtime story. Then will you go to sleep? Now, once upon a time, there was a little girl. She was very, very beautiful and very, very smart, and her name was Gracie. Uh, well, one day, she put on her red dress that she bought at Madison's and took a shortcut through the woods to visit her grandmother. And on the way, she met a valiant prince. The valiant prince. He was awful strong and handsome like your daddy, George. <laughs> He was awful strong. <laughs> All right, so he was awful like your daddy. <laughs> but when, he, when she got to her grandmother's, the wicked witch... Huh? Wicked witch. Oh. Remember the night we went to the movies and saw Edna May Oliver? <laughs> That's right. Anyway, the wicked witch ate up little Grace's grandmother and went to bed without even washing the dishes. <laughs> Yes, she's very untidy. So they lived happily ever after, and now go to sleep. <laughs> no, Herman, you're not going to get a double feet. Oh. <laughs> now, now, go to sleep. And if you're a good little duck, your mama will take you way up to the North Pole to see Santa Claus. And the North Pole is way, way, way... Well, it's so far that you couldn't even get up there without a magic carpet. (laughs) Well, he finally fell asleep. Oh, I'm getting sleepy myself. Oh, take Herbert. Santa Claus. The North Pole magic carpet. Oh my, this is the only way to travel, isn't it, Herman? Of course, magic carpets are so hard to get these days. Priorities, you know. Oh, look, there's a sign, North Pole, three million miles. We must be getting near Santa Claus's workshop. Oh, ducky, you get your Christmas wish, lots and lots of fish. Oh, ducky, you're going to get the best of Santa Claus. Because, ducky, he knows if you've been good like little ducky should. Oh, ducky, you'll make your happy way to sing. Santa Claus has quite a knack for making things you break your back for. He has a great big sack for all the toys that you could quack for. Ducky, you get a swimming pool to keep your feathers cool. Oh, Ducky, you're mighty lucky, Ducky Walky. Hold on, Herman. Oh, my goodness. I'll have to get the brakes on this carpet rewoven. Oh, 
Gee, it's quiet up here. Where's Santa Claus? Who I am? <laughs> and girls who brush their teeth. <laughs> or their feathers. Ah. Oh, well, Santa Wack, crazy, Christmas will be a pop over. Ah. Oh, my God, Santa Claus. Be brave and strong like I am. <laughs> oh, oh, imagine no presents for all little kitties. <laughs> oh, Doc, so Here comes Aladdin. Oh, Aladdin, good. All he's got to do is rub his magic lamp, and then he'll get us out of all this trouble. Santa, Santa, listen, I'm in a terrible mess. Hello, Gracie. Hello, Al. <laughs> listen, Santa, the wicked witch stole my lamp. She cast a spell and made herself look like Lana Turner. Then she offered to hold the lamp while I kissed her. Oh, that's awful. Well, that isn't the worst of it. When she got the lamp, she broke the spell. You should see the difference between what I started to kiss and what I got through kissing. <laughs> Oh, Aladdin. So the wicked witch twitched you and stole your magic lamp? Yes, Santa. <laughs> and what a lamp. All you had to do was wish for anything you want and rub it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And out came swan soap. Ah. <laughs> no genie. Genie? Who wants a genie when you can get swan? Why, swan is a brand new white floating soap that's eight ways better than old style floating soap. If you rub the lamp and got swan soap, what would you get if you rub the soap? Suds, suds, and more suds. <laughs> why, swan gives loads of rich, creamy suds. And twice as fast, too, even in the hardest water. That's why swan is not only great for washing the dishes, but it's also swell for hankies and hose and lingerie. Lingerie? What's that? Well, come here, Dad. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Up here, we wear wet flannels. <laughs> yes, and Swan wears a green wrapper with a white swan on the front. <laughs> hey there, whose magic carpet is that parked outside in front of the fire club? Well, it's mine, officer. Well, you're just a be moment, and I'll be giving you a ticket. Aha. Uh -huh. And would a big, handsome lad like yourself all decked up in a nice blue uniform be after giving a little Irish Callie a ticket? That's not even do you no good. I'm an Eskimo. <laughs> well, come, Herman, we're going. Ah. Well, we've got to get Santa's toys back. And Santa Claus, when I find the Wicked Witch, I'll send Herman back here. You jump on his back and fly to the castle. Oh, I'm too heavy. It's impossible for me to fly on a whistle duck's back. Oh, oh, nothing's impossible for a man who can be at the May Company and bullets at the same time. <laughs> Come on, Herman. The magic carpet is waiting. <laughs> Hitchhiker on top of that iceberg. I'll pull up and give him a ride. Well, how far my magic carpet? We're in a big hurry. Thanks, lady. Well, I'm certainly glad you came along. What was that that just passed us? Oh, a couple of those high school kids on a piece of linoleum. <laughs> Darn those jalopies. Oh, well, who are you? Who am I? I'm the bravest man in the world. Why, Al Flynn. What happened to your face? That's not my name. I'm Prince Valiant. Oh, how dear. I'm Gracie. I'm the world's greatest hero. I fear no man. I fear no beast. Take him away. Take him away. Help. Help. Oh, he won't hurt you. That's just my little duck. Oh. Herman, stick your wing out. I'm going to make a turn. You know, Prince Valiant, there's something very familiar about your face. Were you ever in Bordeaux? I still am. I just finished a split week at Lowe's North Pole. Oh, well, I knew your face 
face was familiar. Well, I'm thinking about a new act. I'm looking for a leading lady. Maybe you'd like to support me. You know, there's something familiar about that, too. <laughs> I guess I should have stayed on the iceberg. Well, I'm going to land and find out where I am. <laughs> oh, look. Here comes a little boy down the road. Hello. Hello. I'm very hungry. Have you some supper I can sing for? What's your name? Little Tommy Tucker. Oh. Well, here, have a Swiss cheese sandwich. You can eat it and sing through the holes at the same time. <laughs> Thanks. Beautiful dream awaken to me. The light and dewdrops are waiting for thee. every night? Yes, or the Wicked Witch will cut off one of my legs. Oh, she wouldn't do that. No, she only says that to scare me. Well, I've got to be hopping along. <laughs> well, goodbye. Come on, Herman, we've got to find that Wicked Witch. Oh, I'll tell that Wicked Witch a thing or two, believe me. You just wait till I see that Wicked Witch. So, you would like to see the Wicked Witch, eh? Me guileless one. <laughs> oh, hello. Nice day, isn't it? Beastly. But I'm hoping it will cloud up. <laughs> Little does she realize that I'm the wicked witch in the flesh. But there is of it. <laughs> well, I'll see you later, Gracie. where I live. One day a lonely castle in the hills, the next a crowded city street, today a villa by the sea, tomorrow a mountain retreat. <gasps> Ma, how you doing? We've been trying to break our lease for months. <laughs> I've had enough of this shilly-shallying, me girl. Do you know, you look exactly like someone I've seen in the movies. Now, let me... Hmm. Well, is it any Sheridan, or are we going to argue about it? Any <laughs> Sheridan? Oh, no, I'm not that silly. Oh, I know who it was. Shirley Temple. Don't be fantastic. There's a good 20 years difference between us. <laughs> a few bad ones, too. Well, it's been awfully nice meeting you, but I really must be going. Wait. You're looking for the Wicked Witch, eh? And just what do you want to see her for? Well, because I've got to get Santa's toys back. Oh, I see. You know what the Wicked Witch will do to you? She will transform you into a pain of rat mat of quivering flesh. Then wring your pretty neck and toss your body to the vultures. <laughs> oh, you're sweet. <laughs> shouldn't worry about me. In fact, I'm a little worried about you. About me? Why, may I ask? Well, you're all alone out here in the woods, and there might be some men hanging around. A man where? Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, all over. I don't suppose you could direct me to the castle of the Wicked Witch. Just 
straight ahead. You can't miss it. The walls are made of from bones of skeletons. And the cornices are decorated with human skulls. Oh, well, I couldn't live in a house like that. Why not? No barbecue bit. <laughs> well, thanks anyway. You're quite welcome. Little does she know that I have given her the wrong direction. The treacherous swamps lie in her path. Those swamps have killed hundreds of men. Damn it. Well, goodbye. Come on, little ducky. My, what a cute little duck. Oh, yes, he's just like my own son. His name is Herman. Oh, indeed. Little does she know that tonight I shall dine on roast Long Island Herman. Well, goodbye. She's gone. She's disappeared. Come, Herman. We've got to find Herman. Where's Herman? Herman! Herman! Gracie, Gracie, are you still in trouble or can I come back? Oh, valiant prince. Herman is missing. He must have been duck napped. Duck napped? Then the woman you were talking to must have been the wicked witch herself. Well, how do you like that? And she talks just like a bath girl. Look. There's a duck feather. Oh, and there's another one. Herman must be pulling out his tail feathers to leave a trail. Now we can find the Wicked Witch's castle. Come on, let's go. Look, there's another feather. Oh, I hope poor Herman isn't catching cold. Oh, look. He's got a blimp up there. Hello, kids. <laughs> That's no blimp. That's Humpty Dumpty sitting on a wall. Oh, gee, isn't he digging round? He, he must be at least 65 cents a dozen. Say, hey, Humpty Dumpty, we're looking for the Wicked Witch. Will you come and help us? I will, just as uh, soon as I finish eating. Well, when will you be through? That's funny. Somebody asked me that same question 20 years ago. <laughs> Didn't you ever do anything else but eat? I don't know. When I get home, I'll look in the diary. Oh, please help us, Humpty Dumpty. The Wicked Witch stole all of Santa's toys. Oh, then I'll go with you. And I'll take along this spaghetti to tie her up. Gosh, you don't need that much spaghetti. Don't worry, it won't go to waste. Oh. Well, I'll call all my eggs together. Wait, I'm going to blow on this lamb chop. <laughs> He blew the paper panties right off the chop. <laughs> All right, Ed, we're off to get the whip. Take your sunny sides up. We're off to get the witch. We're off to get the witch. I hold the terrio. We're off to get the witch. We're hunting for the witch. Oh, <laughs> 
there's a witch's castle. Well, what happened to Humpty Dumpty and his gang? My, how those eggs scrambled. Well, don't worry, Gracie. The valiant prince will protect you. I'm not afraid. How do your legs feel? My legs feel fine. Then I'll put you down. <laughs> Tail feathers lead right up to the steps. What's smarter than to leave a trail for us? If we get the toys back, he'll be a hero. It'll certainly put a feather in his cap. Oh, that's not where he needs them. <laughs> what a ghastly looking castle. Oh, wait. Here's one more permanent feather. I'll pick it up and save it for him. Oh, he hasn't dropped this one yet. <laughs> oh, my, I'm glad to see you, Herman. Now, quick, you fly to the North Pole and bring back Santa Claus. Oh, and Herman, don't fly backwards. You'll catch cold. No. If we're going in to get the Wicked Witch, I better knock on the door. Oh, she's gone. Come on, let's go. No, no, no. Wait, Dad, and since I'll knock. Oh. Oh. It's a skeleton. Sí, soy esqueleto y tengo mucho gusto de verlos por aquí. My goodness, Mr. Skeleton. You shouldn't walk around that way. You'll catch your death cold. You want to get boots, people? A me they would not show. I am the witch's butler. Come in. Oh, poor man. That witch must be a slave driver. Look, he's worked his fingers and everything else to the bone. <laughs> oh, no, señorita. The work here is very easy. Then, uh, then how did you become a skeleton? I was a heavy loser in a street poker game. <laughs> well, come on, Gracie. The witch isn't home, I hope. Ah, she is expecting you. Step right into the torture chamber and make yourselves comfortable. <laughs> well, will we have to wait long to see the witch? Oh, no. She just arrived. She is outside tying up her back. Oh. Was she on one? <laughs> And see, senorita, uh, while you are waiting, senor priest, would you like an arsenic and soda or a beer? I'll have a beer. Fine. Little does he know that the beer is spelled (laughs) B-I-E-R. Oh, my, what an adorable torture room. I'll bet she subscribes to the witch's home journal. Gracie, Gracie. Who is it? It's the Latin. I sneaked in here and got my magic lamp back, and I'm hiding in this tub of boiling oil. Oh, well, just keep cool. <laughs> well, don't worry. If there's any way to escape, the valiant prince will find it. Come back from that door. Well, it was locked anyway. You know, the witch is not much of a hostess. She's forgotten all about it. <laughs> forgotten you? Not at all, me pretty. Oh, there you are. Miss Witch, I'd like you to meet my friend, Prince Dragon. Yes, I saw him once before at a distance. And it's still a shock. Well, we've come to get Santa Claus's toys back. May we have them? Patience, me pet. At the moment, I have other plans for you. Really? Oh, quite. For the next hour... I will twist the hair down the back of your neck. I will pluck the hot mud on your face. I will pluck your eyebrows out one by one. Oh, oh what do you charge for a manicure? <laughs> I don't want to pay cash. Ah, I enjoy your spirits yet. Perhaps it would be better to talk to Prince Valiant first and show you how nasty I can be. No, no, please don't hurt me. They will summon me a great slave. Yes, your wickedness. Put Prince Valiant on the stretching machine. Now watch closely, Gracie, while we stretch his body inch by inch. Come on, come on. Aladdin, Aladdin, rub the magic lamp and get some help. I am rubbing it, but all I'm getting is swan soap. Swan soap? What's that? What's that? Why, only the first really new white floating soap since the gay 90s, that's all. Why, Swan is eight ways better than old-fashioned floating soap. Aladdin, would you rub the lamp and get some... In a minute, in a minute, in a minute. Look, Witch. 
Rick, see how white swan is? My, how good it smells. Come, come, Kleskin. Turn the screws. Oh, Latin. Oh, Latin, will you rub the left? He's going to spread a minute. In a minute. In a minute. Oh, in a minute. Oh, in a minute. Swan is pure and gentle. That mild is the finest imported cat deal show. Just grand for bathing the baby. And so easy on your hands when you wash dishes. Oh, Latin. Hurry, they're going to break me in two. They are. Swan is really a twin bar. Break it in two. Break it in two. And use one half in the kitchen and the other half in your bathroom for your tub or shower. Drop the lamp. Drop the lamp. Drop the lamp. And don't forget, Wishy, that Swan comes in a green wrapper with a white swan on the front. Help! 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 Awfully noisy in here, don't you think? Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, I'd love some, Miss Witch. Come, let's go into my parlor. This is fly. That Prince Valiant is really carrying on. Oh, probably growing pain. Yeah. <laughs> Shall I pour the tea? Please. Oh, my. There's nothing like a cup of good hot tea. Don't you think so? Oh. You know, you're the most unusual person, they say. I may call you Grace, eh? May I not? Well, of course, uh... Hey, Gwendolyn. Oh, of course, Gwen. As I was saying, you're a most unusual person. You make me feel a little ashamed of myself. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, I just knew you had it to decide, Queen. I always say that there's so much worse in the bad of us and so much least in the good of us that it's ill best to behoove us up to say anything. That's what I always say. Yeah. Can somebody understand you? Oh, yes. But tell me, how did you become such a wicked person? Naturally, a man was the cause of it all, my dear. What else can make a woman's heart feel as though it would burst? And alternately, her goose flesh and fever. Well, speaking personally, a Welsh rabbit. Perhaps. Perhaps. But I shall tell you, Miss Torrey. It begins some years ago at the turn of the century. Which century? I won't go into that. <laughs> it was then that Christopher came into my life. Presently, the whole town was talking of Gwendolyn and Christopher. Yes, yes, go on. Ah, what a man. He was like Tyrone Power. And just enough wise, Mother, to make him interesting. <laughs> Enter. Uh, pardon my rattling, Senorita Witch, uh, but there is a man outside to see you. He is wearing a red suit and a white beard. Oh, it's Santa Claus. Come here, Santa. Oh, Swayze, I got you. Gwendolyn. Christopher Kringle. You came back to me. <laughs> my little dream girl. Ah, oh, the love of my life. Here's your bag of toys. Now I can make me quit with the webbery. And I'll go with you and help spread the joy. Oh, and now all the kitties will have a Merry Christmas after all. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, the diamond prince, I almost forgot him. Wake up. Wake up. Oh, my goodness, George. Oh, I've been asleep. I've just had the most wonderful dream. Gee, you look short. <laughs> well, come on, let's go up. It's one o'clock. Herman is still asleep. You'll wake him up. Well, give him to me. I'll carry him up. <laughs> oh, oh, isn't really eight ways better than old-style floating soap. And now, once again, George and Gracie. I want to thank Edna May Oliver for appearing with us tonight, and in behalf of the entire cast and our sponsor, the Makers of Swan, I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. And that goes double for me. <laughs> oh, uh, and triple for Herman. Good night. Join George and 
George and Gracie and inviting you to tune in again next week, same time. Until then, this is Bill Goodwin saying, well, I swan, why don't you?